I hope you brought maybe a Bible with you to worship today. We invite you to grab that Bible either in paper or in digital form and turn to Acts chapter 2. We invite you to take out a Bible maybe you brought with you to church today. So once again, what are we going to do right now? That's right, get your Bibles out. We invite you to take a Bible either right there in the pew in front of you. If you're on the front row, it's underneath. enjoy a good cup of coffee in the morning. Everybody better raise your hand because we're serving about 2,000 cups on Sunday. saying there's three ways. How will you pray? How will you give like the Good Samaritan? And then how will you go? How will you pray? How will you give? How will you go? Pastor Poli here. As you can see, I'm, I'm sitting in the worship center that's been recently restored and remodeled to a degree. And we want to say a big thank you to so many in our community. You know, we had people call. We've had pastors and churches pray for us. And we just want to say thank you to our community who stood with us and showed so much grace and so much help and so much service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to a series called Circles, and uh, we believe that circles are better than what? Rows. We believe that life change happens best in circles. I mean, I've been here now over 17 years. I, I think from day one, I've said over and over again, 50% of what you're going to need as a follower of Christ, one who's investigating, investigating Christ, one who's wanting to know more about what the Bible has to, to engage and input into your life, you're going to find... 50% of that may be in this room, but the other 50% you're going to discover as you engage other people in a group, as you engage other lives in a circle. If our baptism candidates take a deep breath, it's because this water is about 25 degrees. Somehow, Mr. UT forgot to turn on the heater. <laughs> and so we're going to have him come up here during the message and just kind of sit in the water the whole time. <laughs> Amen. On that profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk.
this baptism is really, really special to me because these are two of my grandchildren who are being baptized today, Tristan and Kipton Rouse. Baptism is an outward expression of what's already happened on the inside. Jesus has been born, Jesus has lived, Jesus loved, Jesus healed, Jesus gave hope, Jesus spoke truth, Jesus says He's the only way, Jesus is the only life, He's the only future, He's the only eternity, He's the only path to forgiveness, it is He and He alone. And Peter has been driving at home in Acts chapter 2, and people have been listening, and then there comes to a time where they had to respond to this gospel, to respond to the truth, the power of the gospel. 